Hello piggy people. Today's video I'm going to share with you 10 of the main facts about guinea pigs that I think are a make or break for whether you would like to have them as a pet. Feel free to comment down below some more facts that you think are relevant for people who are researching. I have 10 guinea pigs currently. I have had guinea pigs since 2009. I absolutely love them as pets but there's certainly some factors that can make them hard to care for. So check out these facts and see, are guinea pigs for you or maybe they're a pass? Number one, so the first fact I think is often the most overlooked fact. Guinea pigs require companionship from other guinea pigs. So we can't replace this, a rabbit can't replace it, your dogger can't replace another guinea pig as their friend. So in the wild, they're naturally social, living in herds. They are not solitary creatures, so we should never make them be solitary creatures. Sometimes the best we can do is having them live side by side other guinea pigs, which is great. Sometimes that is all you can do, but having one guinea pig in your household is just not acceptable. So if you're looking for a solo solitary pet, maybe look into a hamster, but definitely not a guinea pig. Number two, guinea pigs require very large cages. Sadly, 99% of the pet store cages that you will see are not suitable, not even by a long shot. So they need lots of running room, lots of room to not fight with their cage mates because they do like to have their own personal space at times. And they need lots of room to have lots of things in their cage for it to be mentally stimulating. So if you're looking for a cage to just shove in a corner on a dresser or off to the side out of the way, guinea pigs definitely are not going to be the pet for you. Quite often they take up a large part of our room or even an entire room. They need a lot of space. Number three, guinea pigs need to have hay 24-7 and a lot of it. So if you're somebody who is severely allergic to hay, there's absolutely no way to get around guinea pigs not having hay. It's 100% needed to keep their teeth happy and to keep happy tummies. So their teeth are forever growing and hay is the only thing that will keep it worn down properly. And as for their digestive system, it is continuously moving and hay is what needs to go through their system all the time so that they don't go into something called GI stasis. So we cannot get away from feeding them hay. So if you're severely allergic and you can't be around it, Guinea pigs are not going to be the pet for you. Number four, guinea pigs can be very messy at times. So generally speaking, guinea pigs are always going to pee and poop where they're eating or sleeping, and more often than not, everywhere else as well. You're going to need to clean your guinea pigs out one to two times a week, and it's also necessary to do spot cleaning daily to keep their environment super tidy. So it can be tons of cleaning time. So this is something that might not appeal to everybody, but it has to be done in order to keep them healthy and away from illness. Number five, guinea pigs can be very prone to health issues. So this happens to absolutely everyone. It doesn't matter if you take the best care of your pigs, you're gonna come across some issues. So they are gonna require vet care and it's gonna be required from an exotic vet, which can be more expensive and more difficult to find. If you're not willing to pay for a vet or take your guinea pig to a vet for whatever reason, please do not get them. So common things guinea pigs experience are eye injuries, UTIs, URIs, reproductive issues, and cysts or abscesses. So this is just to name a few. And I'd also like to note when your guinea pig is experiencing an illness, they can go from eating to almost on death's door in less than 12 hours. So when you're dealing with a medical emergency with your guinea pig, time is of the essence, which can be very stressful on people. So you need to know whether you're ready. Number six, guinea pigs do require some grooming and upkeep. So all guinea pigs require their nails to be clipped every few weeks. If you don't like to do it, then you can take them to the vet to do it. And if you're getting into longer haired guinea pigs, they do require brushing so that they can avoid mats and knots in their hair. Sometimes they need to have a little haircut. And if you're getting into skinny pigs, you need to be looking after their skin and even more care needs to be taken towards their nails. So they can be a little bit nitpicky for grooming, just something. 
Number seven, guinea pigs require a lot of attention and a lot of patience, especially when it comes to taming them. So guinea pigs are prey animals, so they're naturally nervous, cautious, shy, and they're all going to tame to different degrees and take different times to tame. So you have to be accepting that you might get a guinea pig who is never going to fully be comfortable with you picking them up, with petting them, with holding them. There's so many different personalities with guinea pigs that you need to know ahead of time. Are you going to be okay if your guinea pigs are always a bit nervous? Number eight, guinea pigs do best with a schedule. So since they are prey animals, they really thrive on predictability and routine. They get used to when you're going to feed them, when you're going to clean them out, when you're going to clip their nails, etc. So if you're somebody who's gone away a lot, if you have a work schedule that is forever changing, this potentially could really impact how well you're able to tame them, how well you're able to bond with them. Because if everything's all, at least all over the place, they could potentially have a hard time feeling relaxed and comfortable in your home. Number nine, guinea pigs can be a bit smelly. So this is going to vary from person to person what their opinion is. But generally speaking, you're always going to have a scent of hay around. If you have just male guinea pigs and they aren't neutered, you could have the musky smell of them scent marking all the time. And definitely when it's getting closer to cage cleaning day, you might be able to smell some pee. So if this is going to bother you, since they're not the tidiest creatures on their own, you know, this could be a make or break type of thing. Um, and it's also important to note, to combat these smells, you cannot be putting scented candles, air fresheners, or anything like that around their cage. It will cause respiratory issues. Number 10, guinea pigs have a lifespan of five to seven years on average. So depending what animal you're comparing them to, this could either feel very short if you're comparing to like dogs, cats, or rabbits. So it can be really heartbreaking to have your guinea pig around for your you know, six, seven years, and then to lose them. Doesn't feel like it. you've had them long enough. And on the flip side, if you're more used to rats, mice, hamsters, you might think five to seven years seems like a really long time and a really long commitment. So you need to ask yourself, are you ready to look after the same pet for seven years potentially? If you like watching guinea pig videos, learning how to care for us, seeing product hauls or reviews, or really anything else guinea pig, please subscribe and make sure you hit that notification bell so you never miss a video. Down below I've left two more videos for you to pick from, so keep on watching!